Hello everybody and welcome to Surviving Mars. Now the reason um, we are starting this new playthrough is that um, just a few days ago I noticed uh, um, a notification on my Steam that Surviving Mars has received an update. I think it was some sort of building, uh, new buildings that they um, just launched for uh, for a little bit and uh, and I realized that I've had this, um, I've had this game since uh, since it first launched. Uh, I think it was a year or two years, three years. Yeah, I think about th three years ago. And um, I didn't actually play a lot this game. Uh, I think I only did like one or two playthroughs, and um, and uh, and yeah. So I thought, hey, why don't we um, visit this game again? Because it is a survival game after all. Yes, it is a city builder as well. But um, I'm quite into those survival and city builders. And um, yeah, as you've probably already seen from the from the title, we are gonna go with a 1,000 difficulty. Now, full disclosure. Um, because it's been such a long time, I did have to uh, take a few hours yesterday and uh, just to remind myself how things work and what are some of the things I should probably know before going with a very hard difficulty. So, so yeah, I had a bit of a playthrough in an easy mode just to remind myself a few things. And um, and yeah, I think we'll um, let's get started then. So, to make this 1000% uh, difficulty, there's a few things we need to select over here. So, first of all, we'll um, pick a mission uh, sponsor. Now, to make this um, uh, difficult for us, uh, or, or 1000 or reach the 1000%, we have to choose one of the hard ones. So, the three options we have are Church of the New Ark, which gives us uh, 4 billion. No research, however. Um, although all the colonists will have r religious trait, uh, which is pretty good. Birth rate is doubled, which is okay. Um, hydroponic farms performance reduced by 50. Well, that's not uh, very good, but uh, it's all right, I suppose. Next one is Russia. Now, Russia starts with uh, extra billion. And seems the rare metal metals price is a little bit higher, although that doesn't matter too much. And the main difference here is that they grant us research right from the get-go. So that's pretty good. Um, this one here was zero. Uh, Russia gives us uh, about 200. Now the bonus deck, we have field extractors, um, which is all right. Field extractors upgrade is fine, uh, free. Uh, field refinery prefab costs 50% less um, yeah that's pretty early game stuff because we won't be buying those prefabs uh, that many I think and then rockets have extended travel time so that's uh, actually not very ideal I think the best one here is the research per soul the 200 gifts now last one on our list has a lot less applicants um, but it does give us a hundred Research per soul, a slightly higher uh, rare metal metals price as well. Now, why I seem to like Paradox Interactive a lot more is that we can get more breakthrough anomalies. I think in a normal game, when I read about it, it was about 19 in a normal game, plus the planetary ones you can do as well. And when you re research the um, telescope. Whereas with uh, Paradox, I think we are increasing, without the extra things, we are increasing this to about 21 to 23. And those breakthroughs are going to be quite important for us. Um, let's see, researching a breakthrough deck grants applicants, uh, which is okay. And rockets require more fuel to launch. Hmm... And yeah, that last one, rockets require more fuel to launch. Uh, I think we can manage. Because uh, we won't be sending those rockets, I suppose, not so often. Now, that's a tough choice. I don't think we'll go with Russia. Um, it does have the, the research that we would really need and a bit of extra money as well. Although, I don't feel like... The bonuses here are as good, or at least what we're, what I want. Now I'm in between 
whether to select the Church of the New Ark or Paradox Interactive. I think I like the breakthroughs quite a bit and a bit of research right from the start as well. Although having all colonists as religious means, I think it was to do something with the sanity. Um, hmm. You know what? I think we will go with... Yeah, let's go with Paradox Interactive. Let's try this one. Now for Commander Profile. Um, let's see. I have played with... A f I think on my test playthrough we were the Geo Engineer. Which was quite fun. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, no. Not really. Comfort is nice. Also good. Breakthrough decks are researched 30% faster and autonomous sensors. Now that is the one I do like. Um, no. Not really. Lifespan is increased. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, water deposit revealed. Tom's consumed 25%. That is actually not bad. Uh, let's see what else. Extra funding require less upkeep. Upkeep less often and we have... City Mayor seems to be quite good as well. But I think we'll go with the Futurist for the breakthroughs and also the Autonomous Sensors. Alright, now the Mysteries. Let's have a look here. Okay, so we have completed uh, Spheres and The Last War. Okay. Um, we have to pick one of the difficult ones. I cannot remember. Uh, honestly, I can't remember what this was about. Um, wildfire a pandemic okay so this sounds like infirmaries and people dying what could this one be about hmm i'm not sure some sort of war i think for this run we're gonna uh, pick the last war if i manage to complete it before I'm sure I can manage to complete it again. Now the game rolls and this is where all the fun begins. So we have to pick quite a few from here. Winter is coming. Uh, so that maxes the gold waves. Um, and same with the with the dust, dust devils. The last arc we can call passenger rocket only once. Um, colon colonists periodically become renegades. Crime is more severe. The long ride, rocket travel time is increased by three. Inflation, import prices increase over time. And that is quite a painful one. Hunger, can't import food from Earth. Uh, it, not so bad, to be honest. Dust in the wind, dust storm rating is set to a max. Armageddon, uh, same with meteors. Amateurs, no specialists. And tech variety, so they are slightly shuffled in their in their tiers and yeah that's all the difficult ones so that brings us to 890 and yeah these are the settings we're gonna go with and let's go to the next page over here which is to um, customize our payload now i think we'll only take one orbital probe uh, let's see the prefabs um do we need a drone hub probably don't need it from the start we will need this 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 um definitely gonna need more moisture and power what else drones um mm -hmm. okay now this is a tough one which which one should we get first? Now RC Commander, we can we can just use the um, uh, extra supply to bring this down. Explorer is probably the first thing we want to have to scan the anomalies. Though we would want to have a transport as well. 
Let's see, which should we bring first? Let's bring this. Maybe we'll bring the moisture vaporizer, vaporizer with the supply pod. Can we? How heavy is it? Okay, so that's 5,000. We can bring two in the next run. Actually, it doesn't matter which way I go. Because I can just call two. Yeah. I can just call two um, supply drops. How expensive are they? Two. How expensive are these ones? 300. So I need to leave at least 700,000 in the bank over here. Uh, I think, yeah. Okay, so we'll break the transport. In case we don't land next to any metals. And these things, since we are generating some uh, research, so that should be okay. And Commander we can bring down as well. Cool. Uh, drones should be fine with for the start, so let's see, could bring a third one. That means nothing else. Yeah, I think that should be alright. So let's find a landing spot. So I already know where I need to land in order to get 1000 difficulty. So for that one we need to go 51 north and 1562 west. Ah, actually. It brings us to 1,045, not 1,000. I thought it was uh, 1,000. Um, well, that's fine. Now, why I picked this location is uh, it has a lot more concrete. Now, water, we can always, once we get the moisture vaporator um, research done, we can just spam those moisture vaporators. And that's no problem, whereas concrete is quite heavy to ship from um, back from Earth um, to Mars and uh, I would need a lot of concrete for, for building. So yeah, that's pretty much the reason. And metals uh, kind of in the middle there, so it's, it's not too bad. So yeah, I think we're ready to start. And the first thing to do with every Mars game is obviously to pause it first. I think I forgot to mention, but I... Welcome to Mars. Oh, here we go. I'm not running. Let's turn off the radio as well. Let's build the normal one. Um, I'm not running any mods. So it is 100% vanilla. Actually, it is not vanilla because I do have the uh, Green Mars uh, DLC. Now... <clears throat> With this map, um, full disclosure, I have already seen what's what's on this map, so I, I do know where the where the surface uh, resources are, and um, and even if I didn't know, I, I would have still picked the same location, and I'll uh, tell you why. Now, there's three levels here. This is the lowest, where the um, where the wind, uh, wind turbines don't get a lot of bonus for obvious reasons. This is the highest tier over here. And I'm not going to pick this one because it's such a small area uh, in, in here. Um, I do like this kind of area. I mean, obviously we're not going to pick the cold zones. Do we not want to build on top of these since that consumes extra uh, power when we build any, any buildings there. So... Looking at the landscape over here, I have a couple of options. This seemed like quite a reasonable spot over here. Um, but I do like this area a lot more. Um, same in here. There is a bit of space, which should be enough for us. But uh, we are going to go with um, this area over, over there.
So let's go ahead and scan this area over here. Perfect. So we got a. I think that was the key was a breakthrough. And we got some concrete here as well, plus 77 ground metals. Now we'll go ahead and start scanning all the areas around here. And I do like this formation here, so maybe we'll yeah, maybe we'll move uh, towards this location. Let's see what research we have here as well. We got the sensor towers. Uh, probes are cheaper and can deep scan. Don't think we need it straight away. And let's see. Money would be nice. Oh. See forestation farm. Rocket cargo. Well, I think we're gonna go down the physics tree first. Um, I think we wanna. Um, find the uh, the scrubbers as quick as possible so in this playthrough i will i'll be using everything that's that's available since it is my first mm, well not i can't really say max difficulty but with 1045 percent difficulty i do want to uh, set myself up for success so let's go down the physics three first and we'll take the money that will be very useful and then third one Maybe we will, yeah, let's go like this for the time being. Now, scanning and actually, yeah, before I forget, let's bring two supply. So one with RC commander. Wait, I need to double check. What's in our rockets over here? We have a transport, okay. Did not want to bring the um the wrong one so let's bring a supply pod with rc uh, just to explorer and also the second one with the commander as well yep there we go cool so let's land somewhere here let's see we've got some metals in this area so it might be best actually to land around here instead let's see how should we do this um so we could build in this direction or well actually it doesn't matter let's just Hmm, it does matter. So I'm thinking, uh, it depends what else we find here. Now we can change the location later, so let's just slap it down. We got some metals we can use. And there we go. Select the scans, anomalies found. Perfect. We'll skip to scanning right away. And the next thing we want to do is we will need to build some infrastructure here. Cool, so production, we will need a concrete. Now this is going to really affect how we're going to go from here. Do we want to build in this direction? Uh, we got a couple of these kind of like, I don't know what you call them, like geyser things that release some sort of gas from the from the planet itself over here so i've got a few options here i can't go through those rocks over here i could go this direction this seems like a nice open space sort of protected with the, uh, the rock formations here here well that's just visuals the dust storms and everything the twisters will still go through here um or we could expand into this area but since we got these things here i think with the domes we would have that more in this area here so the production i think this will be a good spot so okay cool let's put the uh, concrete extractor 
Right about here is okay. And we will speed it up as well. So transport. You will start collecting everything. Bring it here. Oh, wrong click. Everything, bring it here. And we'll set up uh, some storage units here as well. Let's do universal and we'll do concrete right about here. How far are the supply drops? 30%. Okay, and we need a dumping site as well. So let's put this here. Two should be enough. And yeah, with the... Um, with this sort of difficulty, I'm kind of the, the type of player that likes to, you know, build large, not to not really worry about the minor details as much, to be honest. And uh, playing on this difficulty will definitely be a quite a huge challenge for me. I think the um, only other game where I played on near max or max uh, difficulty settings was Frostpunk, and with that one as well. Even going on the max difficulty settings took me like, I think I want to say like over 30, about 20 to 30 tries to actually defeat a playthrough with max settings. Uh, we are going to need some power. Almost forgot about that. And the fuel production as well. Um, yeah, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. Um... What was I going to say? I forgot. Uh, let's try and figure out our fuel production over here. I think I boxed myself in with this. I should have placed the rocket modules here. Because now when I launch it... Wait, I can still go this way, can't I? Yeah, that was kind of silly. Okay, let's see where does this reach. You know what, you guys can come down. And let's set up the power and fuel production. Um, yeah, when I launch it, if I build anything here, that's gonna dust them all. Um, could build in this direction. No, I wanted to have the production on this side. Cool, so we want to build it as close as we can after we get rid of this one here. And let's see, was it somewhere here? It was somewhere here. Then the moisture vaporators. And what is here? And the other one right about there so they should be safe now from the extractor over here i think this one will pause we won't need to right away just want to conserve some of the resources we have as well for maintenance now next thing we need fuel and to produce fuel we need one of these bad boys the pipes are gonna be See, I think they're running from here. Okay, so let's place this here. Connect them up. Like so. And with power. Let's do one sterling. I think we will need two, don't we? So that should be fine. They can reach. Perfect. And start scanning this one here. I will also want the sensor towers up and running right away. So let's put the this two one over here. We're gonna do another one right about there.
cool. Resources are low. What are we missing? No oh, power. Okay. Yeah, that's all right. Oh. Seems like the power cables weren't long enough, so let's put one here. One. Let's do it up here. Anomaly analyzed. Cool. So Milestone with the achieved. Sterling uh, generators over here, if we keep them closed, they're not going to require any maintenance. If we open them, they are going to produce us more power. However, they're going to re require polymers to maintain them. So we're going to keep them closed for now. Take the 10 power from two of them. That brings us to 20. That is 5 plus 5 and another 5. Now, why is this one not working? Pretty sure. Oh, they're still doing the wires here. Right, milestone achieved. We have scanned an anomaly, which was There's more to the barren environs of the red more technologies. So, what did we get? We got the low G drive drones and rovers, twenty percent faster, and wind turbine upgrades. Yeah, we'll take this. The physics field. Uh, oh no, never mind. There's only two. Now let's take these ones as well. The commander. Okay, so this one's up and running, not requiring any maintenance. Nice. And we should probably put some more, more of these. Let's see how much they cost. There. So it's one metal, one electronics. This consumes machine parts. Sector Metals, Anomaly found. Machine parts. Another one? Cool. Let's grab this here as well. And we got a Vista as well. Perfect. So this could be a good location for the for the first few tomes. Um let's see what are we building? Oh, that was the motion operator. Let's do some more sensor towers. Where can we place this one? Let's put it maybe somewhere there. Alright, so you're gonna come here. You take a metal and take some electronics. How many do you have? Yep. Yeah. Bring it over here, unload it so we can build it. Ah, uh, I think we have our first event the other side of the sun. Uh, while sifting through the retras, our drones discovered the remains of an old concrete bunker. The treasure inside is a folder of old documents. And let's see, led person by the great leader himself, their tireless engineers created many wonders of architecture and uh, creativity. This deed was made possible only by the eternal wisdom and guidance of the great leader. And the options are, thank you glorious leader, gain 10. 10 Recharge station prefabs. Reveal sticks in the robotics tree. Mm, don't really need that much. Uh, thank you. Gain four water towers and four oxygen tank prefabs. 40 statue. Um, statue of prefabs. What is that? Right, so I think we'll go with the water towers and oxygen tanks. Mm. Robotics or engineers? Uh, yeah, fine, whatever. We'll we'll just take these ones. Um, cool. Yeah, so the first first I think hundred souls is gonna go pretty pretty slow in general because we have to be quite careful about how much we build Sector and what we scan. consume. Let's bring these guys back. Wait, you pick up resources first. Come over here. Another sector scanned. Oh, another vista over here. Research site. So this, yeah, this is going to be quite a good spot over here for for our domes in We've the future. We've discovered a magnificent vista at the site of the anomaly. 
So great, 50 new applicants are available on Earth. Nice. Uh, let's check our research as well. So we have now apartments, polymer factory, and okay, we can. Okay. Now let's see. Resources will... are low. Uh, actually, maybe it's not a bad idea to use one of those water towers now. It requires metals for maintenance. However, we could start building up a little stock over here. Where should we place it? Though. I think it will be fine over here, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's place it over there. Do we need it though? I do not know. Fuel. Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, I still built it. Oh well. Alright. So, let's just double check how fast are we scanning right now. So, what's the boost? That's quite a bit actually. So, we have one, two, three towers. Uh, sets of towers. Maybe we could do another one. Where should we do it? Um, maybe like somewhere here. So take one metal as well. And come over here. Same with the Tron Commander. Let's bring you there. Unload you and everything. Cool. Another safety scan. So we got okay, quite a few medals over here. Sixteen. Um, grade is high, so that's really good. And same with this one. Okay, that's sector scan. Another sector done. Nothing here. Well, that's a shame. All right, so this one's up as well. Alright, so this one is complete. Let's pick the resources, bring it back home. Same with you over here. Got some more, I think. Okay, we need a metals depot somewhere around here. Just an extra one. There we go. How much fuel do you have? 80. Oh, okay, so I think the normal rockets, the most you would need is 60, and with uh, the research you could get it down to 30 per trip. Now this one's, due to our mission sponsor, we get, we need 80 now, uh, but if we get the right tech, we can bring this down a little bit. Let's have, take a look at the, we don't have any anomalies yet. What are our goals? Research to breakthrough technologies. We get five free supply pods. Okay. Land the colonies to Mars by Sol 15. Um, didn't really want to bring the colonists to Mars this early, to be honest. Analyze 30 anomalies. We get a new rocket. Megadome 10,000. Uh, this is going to be quite far from away. Research nine break breakthrough technologies. Okay, this we can do. Um, right, so that's it. That's this, and... Yeah, that's a tough one. If you bring them to Mars, it's definitely going to make it a lot more fun, and we could get the shuttle hub up as well, but to do that, we would need resources, which we don't have. And research as well. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna focus on that to be honest. It's not a not a must. But alright, I think that uh, brings us to the end of this first new beginning. Found. 
and in the next episode we'll take a look at what anomaly to be, to be find. So thanks very much for watching and see you in the next one.